turn on all the lights in hall. Got it. Turning five lights on. So if you want to automate your home appliances with the help of Google Assistant for absolutely free, well then this is the perfect video for you as in this video I'll be showing you how to integrate Google Home with Arduino IoT Cloud to not only control your home appliances but also you can ask the status of the sensors. What's the temperature in my hall? The temperature is currently 36.3 degrees. And the best part is this is available in your free plan so you no need to pay anything extra for this feature. And after teaching you how to integrate it, I'll also be showing you a demo of controlling the lights, speed of the fan and also asking sensors data in my studio with the help of all-in-one home automation project controlled via Arduino IT Cloud and Google Assistant. So this is definitely a perfect ID project to try out this summer. So let's get started. So here for showing the demo, I'll be using the ESP32 development board and a DHT11 sensor and later I'll connect both of them according to this connection diagram. And now let me tell you, both of this product are available for sale on our website at the best price on internet. So you can purchase directly from our website and get it delivered at your doorstep. And now let's move on to the Arduino IoT Cloud. So first you need to go to cloud.arduino.cc and here you can click on the sign in button. Now in case if you don't have an account, you can directly log in with your Google account. In my case, I already made my account, so I'll log in into my account. And here, just click on get started for free. Now here, let's start creating the new thing. For that, you can click on create new and click on thing. So first, here we need to associate the device, so we can click on select a device. And in my case, I'm using the ESP32 board, so what I'll do is I'll click on the setup new device and click on third party device. It is an ESP32, so I'll select this. And the model is do it dev kit v1, click on continue and uh, let us keep the name as it is and here it will generate a unique device id and a secret key which you need to download into your system because you won't be able to see this again so better you can click on the download pdf button which will download a pdf file that contains all these files after that click on i've saved my device id and secret key and click on continue and we are done with associating a device Next, we need to configure the network, means we need to provide the SRE name and password of our Wi-Fi router through which our module will be able to talk to internet and later we also need to provide a secret key which is in the PDF file which you just downloaded. So I'll quickly copy that and paste it here. Click on the save button. And later, we have a new option called a smart home integration. Here you can click on the configure button and we are using this for showing the Google Home demo. So I'll click on connect to Google Home. Click on got it and that's it. We are done with all this configuration and we are good to go to add the cloud variables. For that click on the add button and here I am showing the demo of controlling one LED and monitoring the temperature sensors data using DHT11. So let's just make the variable for LED first. So I'll give the name as light. Now here in the select variable type, make sure you only choose the variable available in this Google menu because not all the variables are compatible with the Google Home. So we need to make sure that it is compatible with Google Home so that we can control it with the Google Assistant. So in the Google Home, what I'll do is I'll select this light variable and just click on add variable. With this, we have successfully created the light variable. And similarly, I'll create another variable for temperature. Again, I'll check into the Google only if it is available or not. Yes, the temperature sensor is available and uh, it is read only and click on add variable. So we are done with adding both the variables and now we are good to go to write a sketch for it. For that, we can click on the sketch option here. Now, this is the bestest part of Arduino IoT Cloud. We don't require any external software. Everything is provided in the cloud platform itself, even the code editor. So here's the basic sketch uh, provided from the Arduino IoT Cloud. And here we need to make a couple of changes like what to do when we get some changes in the variable. For example, uh, on light change, what we want is we want to turn on the built-in LED. So first of all, what I'll do is I'll declare here as pin mode to comma output letter on LED change I want to digital write so here we'll provide the pin number as 2 comma we need to provide this variable name called as light because this will be containing the data of the light so with this we are done with controlling the light with the help of the iot cloud and now we're left with sending the census data so for that we first need to include the library so what i'll do i'll go here and type as dht11 and here i'll include this library later i'll provide this many line of code in which it specifies that the dht pin is 15 like on digital pin 15 the sensor is connected with the dht type is dht11 and here i 
have provided two variables because I want to send the census data after every particular interval and the interval mentioned here is 5000 millisecond which is nothing but 5 second. Later in the loop part of the code I'll provide these many lines of code which will make sure that after every 5 second we are calling this send dht11 data function and in this send dht11 data function we are reading the temperature data and later we are sending it to this uh, temperature variable which is mentioned here so that's the complete code for controlling the light and monitoring the sensors data so now we are good to go to upload this code so for that first i'll connect the esp32 board with my computer and here first make sure that you have installed this arduino create agent and it is running on your system then only this google chrome will able to detect our esp board so in my case as you can see it already detected and now i can just click on the upload button and it will start uploading the code into my esp32 board after compiling okay so the code is successfully flashed now if i open the serial monitor so here we started getting the temperature reading as well. So currently it is 26.2 degrees Celsius right now, right here. This means that the code is successfully uploaded and now we are left with two things. One is creating the Arduino IoT Cloud dashboard and second is connecting it with the Google Home. So let me first show you how to create the uh, dashboard. It is really very simple. I'll go back to this uh, Arduino Cloud account and here what we can do is can click here and click on dashboards. Now here click on new dashboard. And here you click on the edit button and here you'll get an option to add the widgets click on add and here we'll add two widgets one is the switch for controlling the light so i'll name it as uh, light and here we need to link the variable which is nothing but the light variable of our esp32 board click on the done button and similarly i'll add another widget which will be for temperature so i'll select uh, gauge here and i'll link it with the variable which is temperature sensor link variable and i'll rename it as temperature click on done and here now click on the i button and now as you can see i started getting the temperature reading on the widget and i can also control the built-in led of the esp32 okay so i'll right now the led is on if i turn it off from here as you can see the led got turned off if i turn it on it's on off and the latency is really very less so that was all about the dashboard and now let me show you how to connect it with the google home so first you need to get this google home application on your smartphone now after that you can go to devices and here click on add devices click on works with google home and here in the search i can just search for arduino click here and you need to log in with your arduino account and as you can see it says arduino is linked and now it is searching for the devices added to our arduino iot cloud so here as you can see i have multiple devices added to my arduino iot cloud account out of them uh, one light and temperature sensor is attached to this while other are from other esp32 boards installed in my studio so what you need to do is you need to add one by one all the devices and here you can choose where you, whether you want to add into your studio office or you can create another home as well i'll add this in my office and here you can select in which room you want to add so here i'll select back door and click on next and similarly you can add other devices as well so after adding them all as you can see this devices appeared in this devices section under the back door room so here i can turn on the light from here as you can see the blue light got turned on i can turn it off from here and here i can also see the temperature value coming from the dht11 sensor not only that but i can also do it with the google assistant so what i'll do i'll click on the assistant and i'll say turn on back door light got it turning on the light Perfect. Let us try to ask the temperature. What's the temperature in my back door? The temperature is currently 27.6 degrees. Amazing. So that's how you can integrate Google Home with an Arduino IT Cloud account and not only control the appliances, but also you can ask the sensors reading as well. Amazing. So that's how you can integrate Google Home with your Arduino IoT Cloud account. And with this integration, I made an amazing project. <laughs> Let me show you. So here is my all-in-one home automation project installed to control four lights and speed of one AC fan and I programmed it to make it work with Arduino IoT Cloud account and Google Assistant. So now let me show you a demo by interacting with the appliances with Google Assistant. Turn on Relay 1 in Hall. Alright, turning the Relay 1 on. Set fan to 25%. Not only this, but I can also ask the temperature and UVT sensors data, which is already connected with our home automation project. Let me show you that as well. What's the temperature in my hall? The temperature is currently 36.3 degrees. The humidity is currently 23 degrees. 
Isn't this project super cool? And well, I'm selling this complete project through my website so you can get it delivered at your doorstep, program it with your Arduino IoT Cloud account and start controlling your home appliances with Arduino and Google Home. Also, I'll be sharing the code which I used for my home automation project down in the description of this video so you can take the reference of that code. So yeah, now I hope you found this video interesting and also you found this feature super useful. If it's so, do click the like button right now. And also let me know in the comments about which is that one cloud platform which you really use the most let me know in the comment section and yeah that being said now i'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video until then explore learn share with me techie sms